Hello everybody, today's video is going to be a weekly uh, routine with the small pets. So I'm going to show you guys what I do with the small pets um, during the week, I guess. <laughs> so I'm going to uh, be cleaning the rats and the chinchillas cages as well as Lemmy's area. And I'm going to take you along with that. I know a lot of people have been asking me for like daily routines and all that, um, which I will do in the future. but. For right now, I'm just going to be doing um, the weekly routine. So anyways, let's begin. Okay, so for the first thing I'm going to do is clean um, the rat and chinchilla's cages. These guys actually just need the spot clean because I already cleaned their cage yesterday. So all it does, all it needs is a spot cleaning. Um, but Gracie's, as you can see, is like a complete disaster. Um, so I'm going to be definitely doing that. And the rats are definitely due for um, cage cleaning. And over here, I don't know if I showed you guys. I don't really keep you guys updated anymore. Um, so in here is Sage and Wonder Child. And the reason why they're in a bin cage, a small bin cage on that, is because Sage is... Um, turning three and she can't climb very much and she's having a lot of balance issues and she's kind of gone senile <laughs> she's kind of like deaf and blind right now um, so she definitely has to be uh, put in here because I didn't want her climbing um, the bars of this cage because she already gotten hurt a few weeks ago and I didn't want that. And I also didn't want to separate her and Wonder Child, um, especially in the last few months of her life. Um, so her and Wonder Child are in here. I do daily cleanings in here. Um, so they definitely need some cleaning. Um, and Lemmy's litter box and everything needs to be cleaned as well. Um, but yeah, over here I have all the cage liners picked out. Um, again, uh, these guys don't need any new cage liners, but this is going to be for the rats. This is, um, they're going to be a rainbow theme, <laughs> rainbow theme this week, and Gracie's going to get this, uh, black and gray and white, um, little cage liners. <laughs> it seems pretty boring, but, um, I'm kind of liking the neutral colors in the cages. So anyways, I'm going to pop you guys on a tripod and uh, we will begin. Now for uh, the special ladies, um, every day I give them um, some fresh water. I do have water in the bowl just because I can't put a water bottle on the bin cage. Um, so I have a small amount of water in here. I have it shallow enough so that if Sage does lose her balance and fall into the water, she won't. it will be a harder time for her to um, drown basically. So I'm just preventing her from drowning from having it a little bit um what like a little water level i guess and then now for food for um oddball i give um her regular um oxbow pellets and i just put that in her bowl and this is just for every day and for sage since sage has a really hard time um eating hard foods right now i give her some what is this urgent care AD for cats and dogs so I got this from my clinic and it's just like a wet canned food um, and I thought this would be perfect for her since it has like um, a good amount of calories and all that uh, you probably won't be able to read any of that uh, but it is made with um, chicken I think yeah made with chicken uh, so she definitely loves that and it gives her some protein and calories just to you know 
get her through as well as some fats which she definitely needs she is losing a lot of weight and I will be showing her soon um, so yeah it's just by Hills Science Diet and I usually give her like a few um, or like a giant tablespoon of that probably give her a bit more since she's been eating a lot more of this lately which is good and then I will um, save the rest for tomorrow and then I'll pick up some more so that's just from my work I don't know if you can get it um, specifically at your vet clinic but at mine I could get that so I just usually mush that around and sometimes um, I do wet some of uh, the oxbow um, I put it in a separate bowl uh, just so that um, Wonder Child could still eat um, hard foods to keep her teeth down. So yeah, I'll put that in their little bin cage. So the next thing I do is try to coax Lemmy into the carrier. And I put, uh, put Lemmy in the carrier for two reasons. One reason is being that I'm going to be cleaning all of his area. Um, and the second reason is because while I'm cleaning Gracie's cage, Gracie is let out of her cage to run around in this room. Uh, just because um, she could definitely escape and all that. Um, and I don't really want her and um, Lemmy to be interacting. Um, even though they are basically best friends, but um, I still don't really want that. So yeah, um, I'm going to kind of coax him into this cage. Sorry about that, I didn't realize that my camera uh, stopped recording. I did it with the cat, uh, cat, the rat cage tour as well. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. But I just had to do like a huge manhunt for Gracie because she somehow got out of the room and into the walls. I have no idea what happened there, but I got her so she's safe and sound. Um, so yeah, this is Gracie's cage setup this week. Um, it's a nice gray plaid. Kind of reminds me of like fall and Christmas. <laughs> and the rats is rainbow. <laughs> Theirs is looking a little bare right now. So I'm gonna probably add some toys and stuff. But here's Gracie. She has her hay rack, her um, little ledges everywhere, her food bowl, and her little hidey house. Now I'm going to um, put her inside of it. I don't want her escaping, so. <laughs> now on to cleaning these guys' this cage. Okay, so now I'm done the girls cage. I uh, just spot cleaned it, cleaned it, that's why I didn't like wipe anything down or anything. Um, but now I have to clean up all of this mess. <laughs> but I'm not going to show you that um, because that's going to take a long time and my camera is being a little funky right now. Oh, but Lemmy is still enjoying his little hay pile right there, digging in it and everything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be cleaning his litter box and vacuuming and everything over here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Okay, so things are looking much, much better now. I cleaned, um, Lemmy's litter box. Doesn't really look like it, but it's all nice and clean. And I also put hay in his hay rack, which I don't see the point in that he's just going to pull it all out anyways. But, um, it's there. 
so you could have fun with it. Lemmy is still in the carrier, just having a good time. <laughs> um, and the chinchilla cages are doing well. We're doing good. Uh, there's already lots of poops. Uh, rat cage is pristine. <laughs> there's a little oddball right there. And the little tail and tattle is in the hammock. And Gracie is in there. So I'm going to let um, Lemmy out. Sorry about the kids in the background. So I'm going to let Lemmy out and give him a little treat. <laughs> there we go, Lem. You're free. <laughs> You're gonna go back in there. Okay, bud. Move. Get out of the way. Little weirdo. There we go. So I'm going to. It's hard to do things with a giant camera and one hand. So there's that. I'm going to give him a little, um, I got these Oxbow uh, treats. So this one's for urinary support. This one is for our digestive support. I gave his urinary one yesterday and today it's his digestive one. And he's thirsty. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> so yeah, obviously I could have like kind of swept more, vacuumed more, um, and I still need to um, do these dishes as well as dry these ones and put them back in their um, spots. But as you can see, it's getting a little dark out. I spent all day here in here, <laughs> um, so I'm gonna call it a day. So anyways, if you liked the video, please subscribe, please like, and please comment, and I will see you next time. Next week is the Pet Expo, and I'm hopefully going to be filming, but if not, uh, you'll be getting a different video. So yeah, uh, that concludes this video. I will see you next time. Bye!